Hey, what's up everybody? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. If you're new to the channel, we really appreciate you being here. If you would, please go down there, hit that subscribe button, and smash that like button for us. We would really appreciate it. So on today's video, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna try to see if we can fix this flat tire, this flat aid TV tire, with a can of spray foam insulation that you buy at your normal hardware store. All right, y'all, a little backstory. So if you watched uh, one of our videos a few videos back, we took the tire off of Reed's four-wheeler. It has a big hole in it, and we were gonna take it up to the tire shop and get it patched. I used to own a construction business. I've taken lots of tires to tire shops before getting them fixed, but I've never taken the four-wheeler tire until this past week. Well, I went to two different tire shops. They both told me that the, that a four-wheeler tire cannot be patched from the inside. The only way to fix it is to be plugged. They said the reason that you can't patch it is because of how thin the tire is and something about how it's made. If they were to grind it down to put the patch on there, it would probably bubble up and have a big, big bubble right there where that spot is on the outside of the tire. And they said they couldn't do it. Only thing you can do is a plug. Well, I went by, I knew the, 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 the hole was big, went by Napa and bought some really, really good plugs. It already been plugged, but I went by and bought some really, really good plugs. Thought I'm gonna try it again. I put three plugs together. I like twisted them together, stuffed them in a the hole, filled it with air, and it's leaking like crazy. So, got online and made some phone calls, started pricing new tires. New tires for his four-wheeler are between $125 to close to $200 a piece. And I just don't want to put that much money into this four-wheeler. It's a great four-wheeler, but we, I mean, we only spent $1,500 on the four-wheeler um, alone, or $1,200, or something like that. So just don't want to do it. And besides, this tire has a lot of tread left on it. It does have a few spots where it's starting to dry rot. It is an older tire. So I was racking my brain, like trying to come up with a way. I was thinking, maybe I'll call some place that does like spray for like like foam filled tires and see how much that would cost. And then like like a bell went off in my head, ding ding ding. I wonder if I can use this spray foam like you buy at your normal hardware store. Wonder if that'll work. So I got on YouTube, did some searches, found several videos of guys using this in their ATV tires, lawnmower tires, stuff like that. So, we're gonna give it a shot. Worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work. I have to get a Sawzall and cut this tire off, scrape all the insulation residue off the inside of it, and then buy a new tire. Best case scenario, it works and we get some more life out of this tire for a couple bucks. So, let's give it a try. All right, y'all, got down here on the shop floor to hopefully make video a little bit easier. You can see there's the hole right there. It's big enough you can stick your thumb through there um, easily. Got three plugs in there. They, just a second ago, I, they were hissing a little bit. They were leaking. Uh, and this tire is completely flat. If you were to put any air at all in there, it would, it would leak out on its own, so. So, there's what we're working with. All that was in there, still leaking. Somehow there was a bolt out in the yard. Don't ask me how I got in the yard, that's what he ran over. So, this is what I'm thinking. The hole was on the top side, the valve stem's on the bottom side. So, obviously, this spray foam is gonna have to have a um, way for the air to escape when it expands. So what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to put it this hose, this little hose that comes with the bottle, will fit in the valve stem. I just checked it. I'm going to take the valve core out. I'm going to spray this into the valve stem and then I'm going to situate the tire when I'm finally done with this hole at the top. And that way hopefully the spray foam as it expands it will push the air out the top and then eventually if there is too much spray foam in there it will come out the hole if i only got two cans of this 
I've, I've used this stuff before and it expands like crazy. So I'm thinking this will be enough. If not, and I get to a point, you know, it, it raises up and a portion of the tire uh, seems like it doesn't have any in it. I'm just gonna drill a hole in there and then squirt it straight through that hole. So let's see what happens. All right, y'all, got my gloves on. This stuff does not come off easy. Got the can shook up really good. We'll see what happens here. You definitely hear the air coming out of that hole. Number two. y'all <laughs> it's hissing a little bit of air out of it all right I've got the big hole right here at the top and on the back side on the bottom is the valve stem I left the valve core out of it I there's no need for it there's nothing to hold in there anymore and I figured I'll let some air escape I know that this, I, I've used foam similar to this before, similar to this before, and it continues to expand for several hours. So um, we're going to give this probably overnight and then come back and kind of assess it and see where we're at. I'm hoping it expands and fills uh, the entire tire. Except if it doesn't, my plan is to, to drill holes where I think it might need more foam and put more foam in there. So we will pick back up probably tomorrow and see how it's doing all right y'all it is the next day so after I filmed the portion of the video you just saw I realized I gave the tire about an hour and I realized I figured that most of that um, foam would have expanded in there by that time and I gave it that amount of time and I kind of felt it and I determined that it was not going to be enough uh, using two cans so I went and got some more foam, and I put two more cans in there. So I have I didn't video that. I had a um, I just I don't know why I didn't. I didn't even think about it. And so I have a total of four cans in the tire. It feels like it's working great. There is one little spot that is soft. So I, I have a, I have one more can. So we're gonna um, drill a hole in that spot and then shoot some more foam in there. So let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can tell, had some come out this hole right here, but like right here, I think it's hard as a rock. But about right there, you can see it kind of going down. And it's right in that area. So we're gonna drill a hole in there and put some more in there.
I don't know if, I doubt that it needed that entire can, but I started using it anyway. And I, you know, anything that, I assume anything that is excess is just gonna get pushed out of that hole. So we're gonna let that sit probably again until tomorrow. And then we'll throw it on the full wheeler and see what happens. I can, hopefully the tire doesn't explode. That would be a major mess in my shop, but I think as long as it has a way for the air to escape and the foam to escape, if, it's, if there's too much in there, I think it'll be fine. So we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. So, but just so far by picking the tire up, um, it doesn't feel much heavier than it would if it just had air in it, maybe a little bit. So, uh, you know, I don't think I would do this obviously on a tire that was gonna go on the highway or something because it would, there's probably still, you know, some small pockets that don't have uh, foam in them and it could be off balance. But I think for a four wheeler, uh, any kind of ATV, UTV, lawnmower or something like that, uh, this uh, should work. So we'll find out tomorrow when we put on the four wheeler. So All right, stay tuned. I think we're done with it. The, uh, the foam this last time, I put way too much in there, but I already used the can, and it's uh, it came out quite a bit. I'll show you here in a second. So, and I, I felt the tire. I feel one little bitty spot that's a little soft, but I, I really don't think it's gonna make a difference. So, uh, let's, let's show you what it looks like. So it's it it uh, definitely overflowed a little. I'm just gonna break that stuff off and throw it in the trash, I guess. Alright y'all, I'm going to throw this tire back on there. It's crazy, there's a little spot right here that's not even cured all the way in the middle of that big, that big uh, ball of it. So, that right there is still a little, a little wet, but I'm going to say it's good. This is not like a uh, real precise project anyway, so. I think it's gonna work I, I you know I, if I had more time I'd hop out on the main road and get it up as fast as I could go to see how it does but just riding it right here around the, in the yard I, if you told me to get on this four and try to guess what was wrong with it by just riding it I'd have no idea there's no it doesn't ride any different it doesn't make any different noises nothing like that so um, that was definitely a much cheaper option than uh, replacing the entire tire so y'all obviously I'm no expert at this uh, just watch some other YouTube videos and uh, more of a uh, more of a tight wad or a, or a tight was not a good word I'm trying to be frugal I don't want to go drop a bunch of money on tires that really aren't that aren't necessary and now when we go to our deer lease I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill the other ones up uh, here before too long look for that on another video I'll show it on a video but uh probably do the same to Easton's four-wheeler, the same to my four-wheeler eventually, um, and that'll be the end of it. We'll run the tires until there's no tread left on them and then buy new ones, so, which is, uh, will be nice. You know, at our deer lease, a lot of the places we go ride four-wheelers at, there's thorns and uh, trees that have thorns on them, cactus, you know, who knows what all you might run over, so uh, um, 
you know that uh, it's gonna be nice not to have to worry about flats so you guys I'm gonna go in the house gather everything up and then uh, Reed is in Easton are inside finish up their homework and we got to go to Reed's baseball practice so uh, this will be their first real practice outside they practiced last week they had to do it in the batting cages because uh, it was raining so and they have a, this team uh, the the organization we're with now has their own private indoor facility I showed that on my last, one of our last videos which is really really cool uh, but I think the boys are excited to be out on the field for the first time with their entire team doing a full-blown practice so it should be fun so I'll bring y'all with us with that so y'all uh, stay tuned Reed back there sucking down water. <laughs> that'd they, be nice. They ran a they ran them a bunch at the end of the practice. But the group that Reed was in didn't have to run because they made errors though, right Reed? That yeah. was just that was just, they just ran just for the they, they, they do every running. practice, yeah. No, it was because the uh, kids um they call it booking it. It's where say you keep the ball in front of you but then you just give up. Oh. Um, we did that a lot. Well, the other other group must have done it more because they're the ones that had to run. Guys, <clears throat> hope y'all liked the tire video. Something a little bit, a little bit different. Our our frugal side definitely came out to try to do that. It's four dollars to fix it. Yeah, well, it cost it was four cans, so. Oh, you got two more. Yeah. Oh, so okay. was, I thought you only used yeah. two. So, and that, how much were that piece? Two forty. Yeah. So something. I got about ten bucks in it so far. I'm gonna do an update on it here in the next few videos, so y'all watch out for that. Um, there's a little boy in our that we know. Yes. That is having a birthday. Yes. His name is Ian, and I don't know what if he. I assume he's turning probably 11. No, I bet he's turning 10. 10. Yeah. Ian, you know who you are. 
I want to tell you happy birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Yes. Happy birthday, Ethan. Ian. Oh, Ian. 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 Oh. Yes, Ian. My bad. So, Ian, happy birthday. Yes. Um. Hope thank you for watching us. Yes, thank y'all very much. We will. Uh, y'all are close to us, and so we might try to meet up with y'all and buy y'all ice cream or something, <laughs> or get y'all. I need, I need to get some uh, stickers made up. Maybe yes. get y'all some stickers or something. I think we're out of stickers. I had some, but yeah. So, uh, and then I hope y'all like to read practice. Yeah. They're looking good. They're they're new team. Um, definitely got some kinks to work out, but the coaching is phenomenal. And um, I think that and, and the, there's a ninety nine percent of the boys on the team are giving it everything they got so i think that those two things it's it's gonna do be great so and i don't think anybody really has a whole lot of super high expectations for the fall no. i think this is the fall is going to be just kind of working out the kinks and you get finding everybody's place and everything but i think i think by the springtime they'll be they'll be a force to be reckoned with it'll so. be fun to watch yeah so guys thank y'all so much for all the support um what else we need to tell them that's it, really. Want to say anything else? I don't think so. Yeah. Another shout it's out. It's still Some hot. It's still hot. It's yep. <laughs> still hot in Texas. Yep. Oh, oh. Well, we'll show it on the next video. I should show it on this video. We got something. I picked up something today. We put it on social media. So if you don't follow us on Facebook, oh yes, Instagram, yes, yes. go check it out. I think I posted on YouTube too. So y'all might see it in there. But no, you did. Yeah, I did. But so, yep. Uh, got hats in. So. Yeah, and they look sharp so mm -hmm. and uh, people are already asking for pink ones we're working on pink ones so yes. they're on the kitchen table i don't have them to show to y'all right now so but we'll show them on the next video so and then we'll we're gonna work on getting uh it set up where we can where y'all can buy them from us mm -hmm. so all right y'all thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see y'all again bye